Hey guys, it's me Inspired Gentleman, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cute setup for your bathroom counter. So I did this because I had this one lantern hanging around and I thought it was really cute to updo it to make my bathroom more complimentary to the brown, white, and aqua sequence. So let's get started on this DIY. So I'm just going to start off with this black lantern that I received. I got it from actually a friend's wedding. I'll link the video from where I got the what wedding I went. I'm just going to show you all the items that I have. The white paint and the paintbrush is optional. You can spray paint this or you can just regularly paint it with layers of a paintbrush or a sponge paintbrush. So I decided to spray paint it with the main color which I'm going to use is aqua. But first I decided to remove the glass plates. You can remove it and then paint it or you can just paint it all over it just depends on you but I decided to remove it and then paint it because I thought it'd be more cuter that way and more kind of like vintage yet chic at the same time so I decided to remove the place if you guys can tell there's like a little metal part that holds over it so you just turn it the other way and you just take the glass and remove it and you do it each time as you keep moving through you can slightly push the glass. Once I'm done taking all these out, I'm going to just clean it up, dry it up, and get ready to spray paint. So now that I've removed the candle and cleaned it and dried it out with the towel, I'm just going to now take my spray paint and stop, 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 stop. You guys didn't think about this. So first I'm going to open up all my windows, turn on all my fans, and have a blow dryer near me because it is always, always, always safe to do that. You never want to have your room smelling like chemicals and staying in there. Whether you're in a house or an apartment, you always want an open space where all the chemicals can leave. And always keep all your fans on, whether it's bathroom fan, bedroom fan, and your windows open and something to cover your face so you will not take in the chemicals. But anyways, continuing on. So once I've done that, I'm going to spray paint this probably about three times. So I took a box because I do not have an open space area like a backyard. So I spray painted it over with my aqua. I did a first layer and then I'm going to do probably two or three layers more for the outside. Once I proceed with that and I feel comfortable with it, I'm going to turn around a couple more times and I'm going to do the inside for the first coat for the inside. Once I finish that and I let it dry a little bit after I blow dried it, I'm going to do a few more coats on the outside and on the door and then do a few more coats on the inside for the paneling. So everything looks solid color. So now, I mean, unless you want that vintage color, kind of off blackish aqua, but that's not what I'm doing, honey. Mm-mm, not today. So now then once I've finished that, I have this gloss, this finish clear gloss spray paint. It's kind of clear. It's not like actual paint. But it's, a, it's to help protect the coloring of the aqua, stay in and not let it get affected by anything else that it touches or comes in contact with. So it's always best to do that whenever you spray paint or even paint anything. So just remember to get some kind of gloss or finish. And even if you're painting something small, get like nail polish or something like clear nail polish because you always want to protect it. Not just for it to keep it on the color, but to keep nothing from touching it so it won't get anything touching you know you don't want that kind of contact with it to get messed up so so now that that's done I'm just gonna let it air out a little bit because it still smells kind of chemically and I had to let my whole apartment get kind of air fumigated so I opened two windows left on my kitchen fan and two other fans that were in my living room and the side room so once I did that I just let it fumigate outside for 30 minutes and it kind of left it left and once after that, you can just design it the way you like to. In my bathroom where all the colors are already there. So, ta-da! And this is my kawaii-looking vintage girly bathroom setup. It's not a lot, but it kind of says a lot about it. So, if you guys don't have a lot of money and you just have stuff, this is a great way to spurse up some things. Well, alright guys, I'll see you guys later on the next DIY video or next video I'll be making. Don't forget to sweat peace. Love and happiness, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Blah, 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 blah.